I think the flopper is broken, folks. We don't have nearly enough tunage on there, so let's try a different cover. Just to screw YouTube, because screw YouTube. Screw, screw YouTube. enough of that shit that is real big fish doing grandma got runned over by a reindeer off of happy scholidays i really like rbf i've seen them a couple of times they're a really good band a lot of fun at their shows when you can go to shows speak for the evil empire shut fun down anyway my friends we are going to do another christmas beer and as you can tell i've already done a couple so you will have to excuse me if shit goes sideways. I apologize ahead of time. We are looking at Powder Hound from Big Sky. Big Sky Brewery tells us that Powder Hound Winter Ale is running 6.5 ABV. The IBUs are 40. The SRM is a 38. Available October through March. Well, that's my damn nice of them. There you go, it's dumbed down as low as she'll go. Nice color though. Good, uh, good, nice solid gold color. A little cloudy, got no problems with that. Our winter IPA is bold and assertive for those. You didn't tell me it was a fucking IPA, you idiots. You said winter ale. Uh, well, we'll suffer. I, I really do need to uh, send a letter out to Santa and see if he'll get me one of those Tekka glasses. It's like the one beer glass that you can drink all beers in. It's kind of, kind of odd triangular shape thing. I'll grab one. They're like 20 bucks on Amazon. Oh, winter IPA is bold and assertive for those cold winter months. Powder Round has just the right amount of warmth 
with a generous dollop of hops. Now, just for all you hop fans, that shit's supposed to be for summer beers when they spoil because IPAs were designed to be shipped to warm weather places. And so in India where they would brew it and then have to ship it across a big giant ass fucking continent, they'd super hop it so it wouldn't spoil. That, that's the whole thing with hops. I am not a huge fan, but each their own. Yep, can't see the laser in the smoke. Alrighty. Let's give it a nose, folks. How y'all doing tonight? You know, she smells hoppy, but not overly so, even for a 40. The scary part is, I have drank so much friggin' beer over the last couple of years that my palate has blown wide open. And there's stuff I would... This fucking bell is annoying. <laughs> Holy crap. Stop! I mean, the bell pima. She can be a pain in the ass sometimes, too. Um, yeah, no, not bad. I mean, you know. Hoppy, hoppy. Nothing spectacular. Nothing amazing. Just hoppy. Normal hoppy. No friends on a powder day. You know what? No friends on a powder day meant something completely different in the 80s. You guys are old enough to remember that. You know what I mean. Let's give it a tongue. She's okay. She's bitter. Not overly so. Flavor is really based on the hops in this, not so much on the actual brew itself. She's not a hundred percent pine tree, but she's probably eighty. All in all, this really isn't that interesting. Um, I did something last year or two years ago, maybe two years ago, because it was disgusting. I didn't buy it again. Called Yellow Snow, and it was uh, another husky on the can kind of thing, and it was Brutus Spruce Tips, and it was disgusting and crap. But, you know, it sold because it was brewed with spruce tips, I guess. This isn't as bad, but it's about right behind it. There's not enough here to really do much. Unless you, you really favor the flavor of the hops, which they don't bother to tell me what they are. This is really kind of a super uninteresting beer. Mitchell hit his hops. Super fast through the middle. Dry across the palate. Dirty on the back end with that hop flavor that I just don't find that fascinating. So, um, three and a quarter. Uh,. You better not even have any wine or liquor in the house before I'm drinking this stuff. Just saying. Alrighty, folks. Thanks for popping in. We got another one coming, and I will be right back. You guys have a good time, but in the meantime... There's some metal for you. Cousin Mel. It's not Christmas without Grandma. All the family's 
was hoping for a Lemmy version, you know. I'll catch you on the next one, my friends.